Well, looks like we may be coming to the end of that long and windy road. And hopefully you've been watching all the different modules or domains for this series. This is where we're going to bring everything all together and try to make some sense of the things that we're seeing. Now, Orson Welles once made the statement that the enemy of art is the absence of limitations. And it's the same thing with security. Typically, when we see security breaches that are made, it's because someone's become complacent. So let's not do that, okay? Now, as far as this course is concerned, I got to warn you, it's a biggie size course, but it's not going to be too bad in the aspect that some of these modules are going to go by relatively quickly because I'm not going to teach you necessarily anything new. We're going to be looking at the domains that we've already talked to you about and talk about how we implement pen testing within those domains. So I've got to give you the warning here, folks. If you are skipping ahead and coming directly to this course, you're going to be missing out. You need to go back and watch the other domains within the Ethical Hacking series so that you understand what we're talking about. So as I mentioned already, we're going to start off in this particular module looking at understanding penetration testing. And then again, we're going to go through each of the domains and talk about pen testing and how it works with reconnaissance and footprinting, as well as how do we pen test and scanning the target or enumerating the target. We'll also talk about pen testing on hacking the target and sniffing the target. After we get done doing that, we'll go through and look at social engineering the target in a pen test, as well as looking at denial of services and DDoSs. We'll also look at things that we need to cover when we're trying to do a session hijack on the target. And then we'll dive into targeting web servers as well as the web apps on pen tests. And because Wi-Fi is just simply an extension of our network, we'll look at pen testing the Wi-Fi network. Oh, uh, GDL, that's a lot. I know, but guess what? There's more! We're going to go through and focus in on mobile devices. Then we'll look at how we target firewalls and intrusion detection systems in pen testing. And because this is extremely relevant in today's world, we're going to look at how we would pen test with the cloud. And after we cover all those things, we're going to have a ton of information, which we need to bring it all together and show that how we would present this to either the client or the department or individual that's requesting the pen test. It just depends on the perspective that you'll be doing the pen test from. So you guys ready? Well, let's first talk about what we're going to do in this module. I mentioned that this is understanding pen testing. So we'll go through and talk about things like, why do we pen test? I know that may seem like an obvious question or an obvious answer, but we'll give you some more details here. Then we'll talk about the different types of pen tests. We actually have not only different types, but different individuals that are involved. Then we'll go through the three different stages of pen testing and tell you what those are. We'll look at the pre-attack stage, which we spend a lot of time in because we need to set some parameters, as well as protecting ourselves legally. Then we'll look at stage two, where we'll look at the things that we'll do during the attack. Afterwards, we'll look at the post-attack steps. And then, of course, we'll talk about some standards. Yes, there are pen testing standards. I usually try to press really hard, and I prefer the gel pins over the ballpoint. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But you're going to hear me refer to penetration testing. It's really wor wordy to say. We often say pen tests. But there are actually standards out there. Some of them are standards that are done by manufacturers, such as IBM. And some of them are open standards. You'll just need to decide which one you wish to follow based off what you're trying to accomplish. And, and when you find one, stick to it. So click that pen. Get it ready to write. And to show that I'm not biased, sharpen the pencil. And we'll get into pen testing.